took it out for a solid ride yesterday and it was wet and muddy, I didn't get a drop of, in, of water in me. I mean, I was perfectly dry, perfectly warm. So I'm stoked to try these all day. It's pretty chilly and we're warm. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah, nice sweet. Caught it by the fire last night. Going pretty well. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. The Duncan and Mud Bog is a charity ride we've been doing for quite a few years now. We always have a blast at this event. We meet a lot of local riders, have a lot of fun. There's a lot of good times on the trail socially. Uh, there's lunch provided, it's really good. And then there's a dinner provided at the end. So it's an excellent event. It's well organized by the volunteer fire department up in Dungan in Ontario. And uh, this year things were quite sloppy due to the weather and uh, some of the other conditions we can control. And there was a few riders that just didn't come prepared. Their machines weren't prepared. And unfortunately that impacts a large group of people. So you'll see the day was plagued with backlogs. That's not to say we didn't have a good time and we won't be coming back. But um, like any big ride, some rides are better than others and sometimes things go according to plan more so than other times. So uh, enjoy the ride. Uh, we hope you enjoy the shots we got. It was a great time even though we only got about th halfway th through the ride. Uh, because of some backlogs you'll see so uh, stay tuned to upcoming videos and make sure you check us out on Facebook Follow us on Instagram and like always subscribe to the channel enjoy the ride And if you're present at this ride make sure you leave us a comment and even if you weren't drop us a line too We love checking out what you have to say Like I was saying, we've done this ride for many years now, and every season there's more and more side-by-sides. The popularity of these machines even here in Canada is growing every year. It's great to see. This is the first chance we've had to actually test the CF Moto side by side on the trail next to other machines, so we're all really interested to see how it does today. wild how some spots that are pretty difficult for an ATV you just literally crawl through in a side-by-side -side, and then areas ATVs walk right over the side-by-sides have a lot of trouble with sometimes.
So this is the first real obstacle on the trail, and I guess rumor has it is a few minutes before we had gotten here, there was a side-by-side -side that had blown its front diff or didn't have working four-wheel drive, and it was rutting out all these trails, just winching all the way through. The guy wouldn't get off the trail. He just stayed on the single track instead of pulling over, and basically one person caused about an hour or two of backlog, which just got worse and worse throughout the day for this group. Once a trail has been rutted out like this by a bigger machine, then it's a lot of trouble for the machines with less ground clearance to get through here. And every single one of them having to winch has basically caused a 10 minute delay per vehicle. Uh, you'll see we flow right through here no problem, but the other machines just can't get their way through. your center there. Just winch it. Just winch it. Oh yeah, we're gonna winch. Oh, we're gonna winch. I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Thank you. I have to get the remote. It's just in here. Oh yeah, yeah. Right side. ITP Blackwater Evolution tires work phenomenally in these conditions. This is exactly what these tires are made for. This 2017 Articat Wildcat Sport Limited has become one of the most solid machines on our team. This thing just refuses to fail and it does it on a budget. It goes everywhere the more expensive and bigger machines do. I can't say enough good things about it. They really won me over with that machine. I really can't wait to see what the new Textron machines bring to the table. Nice big rock there.
so much. No problem. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Thanks, my dear. All right. Have fun. Thanks. This way. I should have gotten out earlier. <laughs> Doesn't even I look like it was wet. In that mud pit. It sheds the the muck yeah, really well. Yeah, it's got well. some sort of like Teflon coating on it or something. It really does shed the water in the mud well. And these neoprene liners are awesome. Kept your hand dry because I I put my hand all the way under to get like the winch hooked up, and I'm not wet up here. Oh. Camera got mucked. Sure to leave us a comment if you see yourselves in the video and check us out on Facebook. We'd love to get in touch with more local riders so we can organize more events like this in the future. So to clarify, 
I'm not hating on CF Moto by saying that it can't go down the trail as quick as some of the other machines. I honestly think CF Moto brings a bunch to the table. They give you a lot for a good deal. So you have to remember that often you do get what you pay for. So with that being said, don't expect to take a CF Moto that's a third of the cost of a Razor Turbo and go down some of these trails at 50, 60 miles an hour. You just can't do that. You bought the wrong machine if that's what you're planning. Remember that place? Yeah. Want to stop here for a quick second? Yeah. Since it's so backlogged and busy on the trail, we've just been cruising at a slow speed so that we can give the people ahead of us some more time. So we're just going to stop here and hang out for a bit. Sure do. What time is it? I don't know. Pulling all that out. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, we, yeah, we we've ridden here. Well, buddy rolled his machine here last time. Yeah. Our goal is to get our hands on some other CF Moto models like the 800 Z Force and the 1000 Z Force if we can. We'd love to test those machines out and really see what they have to offer. Uh, we'd also like to get our hands on a few other machines this season if all works out to show you guys what they can do on the trail. That way you can get a real good idea of what the other machines have to offer because you don't see as many of them out on the trail and when you do, they're not always head to head with the other machines so we want to try to change that. Let us know if there's any specific machines you really want to see, and we'll see what we can do about getting our hands on them. Go for a rip down there.
as cruising up and down the trail at a pace like this on open trails, the Sea of Moto 800 trail does do quite decently. It's hindered mostly by its ground clearance and lack of suspension travel. Also, most likely the quality, build quality wise, of the suspension and the suspension components just can't take the abuse that some of the other machines can take. Driving in a Razor XP Turbo or a Maverick X3 Turbo or something similar to that really lets you hit these trails at speed. You don't really have to worry about hitting a, a washout or a, or a pothole. You know you've got enough suspension in there to soak that all up without damaging the components it's attached to or the wheels or the rims or anything of that nature. Whereas driving a smaller machine like a trail machine, even that Arctic Cat or that CF Moto, you do have to be much more observant to the obstacles you hit on that trail because they will cause damage. Um, it's just build quality. Like I said, you get what you pay for. Uh, there's a lot more to it than just the brand name. I mean, just look at the dampers on my machine in comparison to even the Elkas on the Wildcat or those shocks on the CF Moto. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Woo! Still on the done a little right here. And it's being messy.
These sections of trails are just so rutted out and there's multiple ruts in them. You really have to be careful when you're ripping through there in the slot because you can get cross rutted. It can send you sideways into a tree or flip you over, break a tie rod. You really got to be careful in this stuff. Luckily the Razor Turbo has a ton of suspension and these ITP Blackwater Evolution tires are working great too, helping us stay on track. The suspension is just amazing! you can easily maintain in one of these Razor Turbo models. You can go so quick down some of these rutted down trails that you forget how quick you're actually moving until you catch up to someone else and realize they're moving at a snail's pace and they're still getting bounced around and you're going twice their speed and it feels like you're in a Cadillac. This Fox suspension just works so damn great. Yeah. Back on track.
pretty good. Razor seems to be working well. New tires, ITP, Blackwater Evolutions are working great in this stuff. They're really hooking up, running about seven pounds in them right now on the KMC beadlock wheels. They're really gripping even in the ruts and in the snow and in the in the mud. They're a great all-around tire. I'm really happy with them. Super ATP A arms are working good. Haven't hit a single one. Smacked that rival skid plate a few times. It's been working well. So uh, yeah, everything's great. The Razor is checking out well on its first ride. We're having a lot of fun. We're rocking the Fin Trail gear. We're still toasty. We're dry. Everything's uh, everything's doing well. A little slow on the trail this morning, but um, it's cleaned up pretty good now. from that gentleman on the ATV that Shelby's behind us broken down in the CF Moto. He said something's wrong with her wheels and she's stuck on the side of the trail so we're just slowly doubling back to see what happened and see if we can get her back going or help her or what we need to do and assess the situation. The important thing is everyone's okay. He didn't say anyone was hurt so at least we're not stressed out about that. Mechanical problems are easy to fix but nobody wants to see their friends get hurt. One of the best things about the Dungan and Mudbog and how this event is organized is that for all the machines that don't make it through the trail or break down and have issues, the volunteer firefighters have teams of guys set up that will come and recover the vehicles for you and bring them to their fire department free of charge so that you can pick them up later when uh, you get your truck or, or something like that. <laughs> oh no. I'm scared. I'm scared to see what we find. I know. As long as everyone's okay. side or wheels are both like this. Uh, only one? already had a pretty good day. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. We hope you enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to both our YouTube channels, follow us on Instagram, and like us on Facebook. Oh, here's the rest of the group. Let's roll. down one of the trail volunteers showed up and they called the volunteer firefighters gave them our location a flatbed showed up and picked up the broken machine and dropped it back off at the fire hall which allowed Shelby to hop into another machine 
and keep on riding with us and enjoy the rest of the ride. Shelby's co-pilot Marie jumped into the Razor Trail, the 50 inch 900, with our buddy John. He had an open seat and Shelby managed to score an open seat in a Razor 1000 with one of the trail organizers. Yeah, he just went straight through. He went sort of a little to the left and then across. You want to ride? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Gotcha. Since the CF Moto Shelby was driving broke down, she managed to jump in to an empty seat with one of the event organizers, the guy who plans the trail every year. He had an open seat in his Razor. And then Marie, her co-pilot, jumped in the Razor 900 trail over here with our buddy John there so that they can both tag along for the rest of the ride. The firefighters will get her broken machine back to the fire hall. And um, you don't see them here right now because they've shot up ahead on a different route to move some of the trail markers because everyone's so behind. They want to cut some of the trail down so that everyone can still make it dinner on time. So once they're doing that, they're going to link back up with us further down the trail. I guess that high lifter might have a broken axe with their fan. Yeah. yeah. One nice thing with those uh, bars around there, you don't mind bumping off the tree. Yeah. You can push things away, uh, away from you. The Super ATV Full Protection Kit, which is the exo cage you see on my Razor, is definitely one of the best modifications I've done to a vehicle in years. It's going to save that Razor and that wrap. It's already paid for itself tenfold just off this ride, and the next ride you guys are going to see it really saved my machine.
I've been wanting to see one of these machines for quite some time now. It was awesome to see this machine on the trail. It looks excellent. I really can't wait to see how these perform with all this awesome suspension, the new engine. It's really going to be a badass machine in my opinion. Textron's going to bring a lot to the table. Lots of uh, storage and stuff too, right? Oh yeah. He's running a Wildcat Sport, right? The door, yeah. just the door, the two doors for this are like 4500 bucks. Whew. But it's like a, it's a sweet door, man. It's all, it's all the polycarbonate glass. Yep. And it has the full glass slider oh, okay, here. Okay, okay. Big yep. enough that you pretty much put your arm at it, right? So yeah. it's like a, a legit sealed unit. Yeah, it's really, really like nice. Windshield yeah. nice too, right? Oh, yeah. It's a nice looking machine, huh? No, yeah. I like it. How do those tires work? Uh, come see, come see. Not the yeah. worst, not uh, the best. They're no big horns, I'll tell you that. Yeah. They, they would make a big difference here. Yeah. 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 If I had big horns, Got the suspension for it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm. Uh, it sounds really good though. It takes two weeks to get anything. Really? Yeah, it takes two weeks for an oil filter. Hmm. Two, two weeks, weeks for an oil filter? Yeah. yeah. Two weeks for the front windshield. Two weeks for the back windshield. Oh, but it's, is it a power wiper? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Burr Burr no, uh, no it, scratching It's or always kind of tough being that guinea pig that first yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. I did. I. I still. I got the 08 Razor. Yeah. Yeah, original year of the Razor, cool. and uh, I it still did. have it. Yeah, still ride it? Yep. Yep. Hey, yeah. 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 Yeah.
riding with some of the volunteers now. Uh, we had a little technical issue, broke a tie rod uh, back on the trail, so now I'm hitchhiking with some of the volunteers. And this is so cool to see behind the scenes just exactly how much work goes into putting off an event for you, the people who come, come and ride. Honestly, the vol and volunteers here at Dungannon have been phenomenal. I, we waited 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes tops, and we had someone come by, check in on us, see how the machine was doing, and called for a tow. So we actually had a, a truck come in on a, on a flatbed and pick up my side-by-side. -side. And now I get to continue on the rest of the day because these volunteers are super cool and want the rest of us to have so, so much fun. So yeah, I'm just hanging out with my, uh, my volunteer homies and we're gonna keep doing some riding and checking out the trails and, and making some changes this afternoon. And uh, that's pretty awesome. Looks like this Arctic Cat Wildcat Sport we ran into on the trail with another group also broke a tie rod similar to Shelby, but they are pinned in a terrible spot of the trail where the firefighters can't get to them. Getting them out of here is gonna be hard. We can't get around them on the trail here, so what we're gonna have to do is find an alternate route around them so that we don't get stuck behind them down this next nasty part of trail. We scouted out a route that we think we can kind of get around them going into this ravine a bit. It's going to be a little trickier for the smaller machines, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm kind of looking, thinking I can do it.
And while we're out trying to traverse the trail and get to the halfway point for lunch, Shelby's out sweeping the trail with some of the volunteers, making sure the broken down machines can get back safe and sound.
like an icy level of grip. It's things like this that you have to watch out for when you're traversing through deep water. You don't want to hit something like that at speed. You could pop your rad or break an axle or something like that. It's always important to consider obstacles you can't even see. You never know what's hiding under the water or in the mud. Looks like the only casualty this time was a popped out grill cover, which shows you that that thing hit directly where the rat is.
about picking the line. That guy's mohawk's a little yeah. batted down. <laughs> I saw that earlier. Oh, there's cold trees up here. Looks like Shelby's adventure is continuing on along as well as ours is. She seems to be in good hands.
everybody. <laughs> Get going. You okay, John? This thing is awesome. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? Yeah, we should be there almost. Text her anyways, yeah. Just let her know we're... Uh... Make sure she's okay. Oh, I'm sure she is, but... I haven't broken yet. Me neither. Oh, I got grabbed. What are you on for mileage right now? I'm 27, 22. 29, 21. Oh, so literally like the same almost, 200K. I was hoping to break 3,000 today, so we got 80, I got 79K to go. Again. Well, I guess we better get moving once this message is sent. Sorry. It's okay. It sucks all the moisture out of your hands, eh? Oh, I know, yeah, it's crazy. The mud. Lotion you guys can use. <laughs> oh yeah, you can rub my hands down with that, maybe. <laughs> hey, nothing beats a good hand massage. I'm not kidding. They get that in my hair. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a hand massage. Really? That's They're amazing. Does it come with the lotion application? Usually. Oh yeah, nice. Not from her. Oh. <laughs> you have to pay for that. I hear machines. <laughs>
rock. Like that? Some big rocks just in the middle of that funnel back there. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a few people stuck in the bush back there. Derek's is like oh. a tractor, man. Like yeah, man, they're tanks. But you had a video. What's that? You had a video where you said when you slow down, you got it clinging in the drive. Yeah. Right? Do you know if it's normal for the sportsmen too? I think it's for all of them. Like, really? did you always have it? Uh, yeah, it's actually. just that drivetrain. So, uh, clack, 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 clack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It sounds like shit gonna blow up. Yeah, but it hasn't yet. So, yeah, knock, knock, on knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> We've been doing that a lot this weekend. Fair enough. Should we keep going? Yeah. Okay, let me know. We're trying to get the lunch. <laughs> I'm almost out of fuel. I'm having a blast, but I mean, it's... These rocks are f***ing hard on the machine. Oh, yeah. They bet bouncing all over the damn place. It's just been four low and let her crawl everywhere. Yeah. It's easier in this thing with all the suspension. Yeah. I don't know where that Maverick went, but he said he had a bunch of fuel. There's, there's uh, Josh. Take it easy, boys. See ya. Have a good one. Have a good ride.
are nice back here. Yeah. The trees are much smaller. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Little biggie. So it's past 5 p.m. now and we're just about to make it to the halfway point, which is lunch. We were supposed to be there for the mud bog competition and lunch around 12 or 1 o'clock, but because of all those delays you guys saw early on in the ride, we just got swamped and backlogged near the end of the pack and we just didn't make it here on time. Needless to say, we had a blast and it was awesome, we'd love to do it again. But uh, it just goes to show that sometimes rides don't go according to plan. So we would have loved to bring you a little bit more extreme riding here, but not all rides are, are intense like that. So um, sometimes you just, you get what you get and you enjoy it. So uh, we hope you enjoyed the ride. There's a lot of cool scenery you probably saw and um, probably got a few laughs along the way. We sure did. So uh, thanks for watching. There's a little bit of an announcement I have for you guys at the end of the video if you want to stay tuned for that also, just giving you a bit more info on the channel and things to come. So thanks again for the support. Give us a thumbs up, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and please subscribe to the channel and share all those videos with your friends. We'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, Adrenaline Junkie here. We just got back from a weekend up north. It was our first trail ride this season. We also took part in the Dunghannon Mud Bog while we were up there. Uh, we did a lot of good riding, put the razor through the paces, made sure all the new goodies were working and up to par. There were no hiccups. The razor went for absolutely everything. Everything worked great. So uh, we want to give a big shout out to Royal Distributing. They've been helping us uh, get a lot of these goodies for the machine and hooking us up with some great deals, as well as Super ATV for kicking in and also helping us get some great deals on some awesome, awesome goodies. This Super ATV full protection kit came into use this weekend already, and I can't wait to get down some of our more technical trails around home here. Uh, everything's been working great. The IT Black Water Evolution tires work phenomenal. Um, these things got us through basically everything. Uh, I can crawl. They handled good at high speed. I was running seven pounds in them. Uh, they felt great all weekend. The suspension felt awesome. The machine felt transplanted on all the mixed uh, terrains. Didn't hit anything really hard. I didn't bottom the machine out hard. I wasn't like going crazy this weekend. Um, and uh, the most phenomenal part of this is we've smashed out basically like a five to six inch piece of this wheel, it's still holding air. It's not even bulging much on the tire here. We kept riding on it like nothing happened. And uh, it's held up great. It hasn't lost any air pressure. So I gotta say that in that sense, the rest of the wheel is great. And this tire has got a lot of nice sidewall rigidity built into it. It's, it's bulging a little bit here, but not enough to break the bead seal, which is pretty phenomenal. Obviously the bead lock on this side must be helping a little bit. But um, yeah, that was really the only noticeable damage. Obviously I've got to wash the machine and do a more thorough inspection, but there weren't many big hits. There's gonna be a bunch of scratches on the wrap, obviously, but that's just gonna be on the clear over laminate. The belt held up great, rocking the gates belt. Gets you there, gets you back every time. Awesome product. Had a lot of good luck with the gates belts so far. Hoping to run them all season. See how they do in the long term.
The Super ATV rear bumper held up nice. We put the hitch to use a few times, pulling some people around and moving the trailer around the campsite. Exhaust sounds great. Full protection kit did its job. You can see there's some scuffs there already. Oh yeah, there's some nice tree rubbing, some scuffs in the cage here. The hood's relatively clean. <laughs> Yeah, the machine did excellent. We got the two light bars mounted up front now. We got one in the front here on the bumper and one up there. They're filthy right now, so they're probably not doing much, but they light up the sky at night. It's great. Super ATV control arms, joint steering system, all that held up great. No play, nothing like that developed. Felt tight. Weather conditions up north were uh, pretty interesting. There's still ice and snow in some of the shady areas, and then it was pretty warm, almost t shirt weather, weather at times. So, uh, some really mixed riding, a lot of fog, highest water levels we've ever seen. All last season, we were saying, oh my god, the water levels are so high. But uh, this year, they're like twice as high. Like, it's crazy. Uh, so, you'll see all the water and all that. So, it, it was a good ride. So like always, make sure you follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. Also, check out both our channels and please subscribe to them. If you enjoy the videos and share them with your friends, we're trying to grow, uh, we're trying to grow the following, we're trying to get more views, we're trying to get these channels off the ground so we can bring you more better content. If we can get a bit more support and a bit more views, then maybe we can give you a bit more extreme riding. So um, thanks for the support and we'll see you in the next video. Also, as a side note, we will be coming out with some cool swag real soon. I'm just wearing this royal shirt right now because I'm going to be watching the razor. It's going to be a little messy. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyways, uh, we'll be designing and releasing some swag in the next month or two. We'll have some cool adrenaline junkie prod shirts, uh, some side-by-side -side, uh, themed apparel. Uh, you guys should like that. We're just kind of in the finishing design phases of that. And then we just got to get the t-shirts made and then we can get them up on the website and start selling them. It's gonna help supplement the channel a bit, hopefully help us get our website going a bit better and hopefully bring you more swag and more really cool videos in the future. So I'm gonna to get to washing this bitch and uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated.